Okay, it's come round to tip of the week time again, and this week I've been asked to talk about film speeds. Um, so I thought I would. Um, so the ISO um, film speed will start at normal film speed, which is 50 ISO to 100 ISO. So the lower base of the film speed, the more um, quality you will get, the more colour accuracy you get. On the other hand, the higher the ISO you go, the more grain is, but the lower light you can shoot in. So, let's take for instance 50 to 100 ISO. Uh, you would normally select that on a really bright sunny day, and especially abroad where you've got lots and lots of lovely light. Um, you usually get, combined with the ISO, uh, combined with the low um, ISO, you also get good colour accuracy and good colour saturation. And on the other end of the scale, let's say 30 to 200 ISO, you can basically hand hold. Um, in pretty much any situation, inside or out, um, where it's nearly dusk. And sometimes when it actually is dark and dusk, I've, I've been known to shoot and hold um, and shoot in cities like Dubrovnik and Barcelona um, when it's pitch black and still get a good image out of it. So that's it really, but the, the problem with the high ISO is you usually get quite a lot of grain and if you relate that to the digital ISO you get a lot of artefacts and, and lots of colours and bits and bats in there that are not very nice. Um, so that's it really, the higher the high ISO the lower the light but the more grain, the lower the ISO the more light you need but the better quality and the more accurate in colour saturation and, and colours it is. So that's my tip of the week. You choose what ISO you want and you make your choice and um, that's it. Um, I've just been asked um, to relate that into black and white so I thought I would and um, what the difference is. Basically um, the difference is um, the lower the ISO the more light you need so 50, 100, um, you need a lot of good light sunny day um, you get no grain in it, um, in fact, two seconds. So, I don't know if you, can see, if you can see this image, but this is shot at 50 ISO, and what that means is the, the tones are really rich, um, they're not greys or, or sort of flats, but also there's absolutely no grain in it, um, and the skin I use a red filter for this, but the skin is absolutely like porcelain. Um, so it's beautiful to shoot in a studio, and if you want something of real quality, and you know where you want a lot of good contrast and so on and so forth. On the other hand, um, I don't know if you want to pan round slowly and move. On the other hand, when you go to 3200 ISO, um, this particular image I shot on my mother. I shot it indoors and um, I shot it with a 60 watt bulb uh, in my mum's house and you can see there's a lot of lovely grain in it but the tones are a bit more milkier and I, you have to work really hard to make the tones as rich as anything from 50 ISO so that's how it equates in black and white basically from a film point of view is usually the tones are a lot milkier at 3200 and you get a lot more grain in it and sometimes that can be quite nice, but I have a, I use 3200 um, in a different way. I overexpose it in the camera and then I will pull it in the dev and have a thin negative and then print on, you know, use a hard grade to print. So that's the way I use it, but on a standard way it will be quite milky. So that's it, that's my tip of the week.